What's up and welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit Barney coming to you with some more Red Dead 2 online okay. tips and tricks. Today we're going to be going over something I just learned of recently that's going to be very helpful to you if you're being griefed. Now, griefing isn't as bad as it was when the game first came out, but there's certain areas where griefing just gets terrible. Now with the economy change, we don't see money grinding out and hunting as um, prevalent. Because people are playing series showdown to earn money. Um, there's basically there's just more ways of earning money. So not the whole lobby is jumping in and trying to do it one way. Money grinding isn't the only type of grind in this game. Sometimes you're grinding for experience. And there still are hunting methods that are quite popular that other players jump on and just grief the shit out of you. It's like for the for example, one is in Blackwater, you almost can never go to that butcher. Today I'm going to show you how to get away from griefers. There are no private lobbies in the game, but this is the closest way you can get to a private lobby. So you can just enjoy your session. If you're grinding experience, you can do that. If you're farming fish or hunting, you can do that without being griefed. Now, yesterday I did a guide on the best way to earn experience, and that involves going in Saint Denis and shooting a bunch of cops. Now the downside is, is that there's always players in Saint Denis. So the cops are getting spread out. They don't initiate with you as often. Right now we have four players here. And sometimes other players just decide to grief you since you're standing in one area shooting cops. They think it's an easy target. There's a way you can load in and not have any players in Sanity. And this is how you're going to do that. What you want to do is open up your online and pick a area that's away from your goal, from your target. So let's say I'm gonna be playing in Blackwater. What I wanna do is load into Lemoyne. Let's say I'm playing in Saint Denis. The best thing I can do is load in in New Austin or maybe West Elizabeth. Now these places are farther away from my target, but the way the online works is when I load into an area, I'm gonna load in with players around me. So the best place to load into if I wanna avoid griefers is an area away from where I'm gonna be playing. Now, with there still being occasional disconnects, you might devote some time to loading in. Let's say I wanted to play in San Diego with no other players and I load in New Austin. It's quite a trek to go from New Austin, which is all the way over here, to San Denis. But even if we look at the map right now, we're loading in. The majority of players are in San Denis, and that's because I just loaded in Free Roam where I recently was. But let's say I want to do some hunting or an XP grind in San Denis. If you don't know what the XP grind is, go ahead. It'll be linked in the description below. It's the best way to earn XP. Let's say I want to do that. That method is in San Denis. So what we're going to do is I'm going to load in West Elizabeth, and we'll, we'll see how this goes from here. Okay, so we just loaded into West Elizabeth, which is on pretty far east on the map now let's pull up our map and take a look at where our player distribution is so i'm really far away from san denis we can see that there's tons of players in the lobby in this area though and if we go over to san denis it is completely empty now if you're doing an xp grind basically this involves going into a certain area and continuously killing police or whatever to gain that xp over and over and over if you want this to be successful, it works best when you don't have other players joining in and bothering you. So before you begin this session, which you're probably going to spend like, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour of doing this for, 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 you know, good progress, load in in a different section of the map than where you're going to be. As we just looked, there's no players in San Denis. And yes, I commit a little bit of time going over there, but it's a huge benefit. When I recorded yesterday's video, it took me probably six tries, five tries, to get the content done without other players either griefing me or, or just making the cops mess up because they're also going for a wanted level in the city. And then the cops that are spawning in for me get attracted to them, and it's just not as smooth a process. This is super helpful, not just with XP grinds, but for hunting. If you're trying to play a peaceful game, right, it's instinctive to load in to where you're going to be playing. But it's actually counterintuitive to having a peaceful play session. Now, if you're going in to grief players, then you just load in and grief players. They're going to be where you are. But if you're loading in to play at a certain area, don't load into that area. 
load into a different area, and then ride to that area that you're going to be playing in, and it's going to be much more peaceful, less crowded, with less players. Now, I want to quickly go over specific areas where you can go to really, truly utilize this method. One of the best things you can do, right, is if you load into New Austin, this is not as popular an area, but if you have a lobby where a bunch of players are in New Austin, they're really not going to be anywhere else on the map. So that is a good place to load in if you're up for the trek. Now, if you're not up for the trek, I'm just going to point out some areas of high interest on the map that you can go in and play that uh, will be an XP grind, a money grind, and areas you can load in to maximize your potential in those areas without being griefed. For example, Saint Denis, load in West Elizabeth, or you can load in in Amberina. Now, sometimes when you load in in West Elizabeth, you load in right here by Blackwater, which is a much easier trek. You, you know, it's, it's random where you load in in that area. And if you want to, you can try a few different lobbies. Say, we're going to be playing in Saint Denis. Let's load in West Elizabeth a couple times until I'm a little bit closer to Saint Denis. But there is the XP grind in Saint Denis. There's a video. We'll link it in the description that shows you how to do that. There's also the hunting above Sanity, which is a good money-making method with the economy change with all the birds you can hunt. Now, this method is going to be especially effective because if there's no players over there, you're going to really be able to utilize all the birds. When there's players over there, it's really hard to get a clean hunting session in because those other players are really doing a lot in that area and messing around with the bird spawns and the alligator spawns and whatnot. So, West Elizabeth works really well for any activities being played in Saint Denis. It also works well for Valentine to road runs when you're doing hunting. That's another method that we've gone on. It's an earlier method, not quite as good, but it's there. Now, there's a good fishing area here, which isn't the best as it could be, but it's a good area still to catch salmon and trout. Um, they lowered the effectiveness of it with the recent economy update, but it's a good area. If you want to do this area, it's tough because this area is kind of in the middle of the map. So I would recommend if you're doing this area to load into New Austin and just hope for the best. I loaded in West Elizabeth and look at this. We got a couple posses here. This is going to be a great lobby for me to play in for hours if I was going to be in San Denis All these posses hanging out here. They're going to stay in this lobby for a while as a posse. I'm good to go. Now, outside of this uh, little fishing area, another fishing area is right here in Blackwater where you can catch a muskie, I think it is, and turn that into the butcher that's right behind you for $7.25 per muskie. Blackwater is known to be like the griefing capital of Red Dead Online. It's unfortunate, I know. But with this new method, we have ways of loading into games to really minimize how much griefing we're going to meet there. What you can do is if you're going to Blackwater, load an Amberino. It's way up here on the on the top of the map. Load an Amberino and see what kind of layout you get. When you load into Amberino, you're either going to get a, a disbursement of players on the west or east side of the map. If it's the west side of the map, you're good to go. If it's the east side of the map, then think about maybe trying loading it again. Blackwater is a shit show. If you have players there, they will grief you. I was trying to go over this fishing guide the other day. I couldn't get it filmed because I wasn't aware of this technique yet. And every single time you're in Blackwater, people wait for you to come to the butcher and they just kill you. That's because there's a cougar spawn south of Blackwater and there's that fishing spot right there. And players just love griefing there. So you want to be in Blackwater, load an Amberino and see if you have a Western disbursement of players or an Eastern disbursement of players and then play it by ear. This is a super helpful method method since there isn't any private lobbies yet this is the best way to get a peaceful playthrough and if you have a posse with you just think about it if you guys want to just crush stranger missions or something like that then what you can do is load in to west elizabeth and then go to the west side or the east side of the map even if you're not doing a free roam uh, uh like hunting or xp grind Maybe you're just grinding for money. Load in on the side of the map where play, where players will be and then ride to the other side to complete those stranger missions because sometimes when you're doing these stranger missions or in fact often when you're doing these stranger missions, players near you get notified that you're doing them and they can try and stop you. Now, this promotes not only griefers, but people who are just playing the game to come attack you. So if you want to get a free you know, go at it, just load in over here 
and then ride across the map to get your session of stranger missions this is a really good way to increase the effectiveness at which you make money or you make xp because you're not being sidetracked by avoiding other players or they're not coming to kill you this is a really honestly one of my favorite tips we have on the channel because griefing is such a big problem it's become less so with the economy update and there being more ways to earn money not all the players are meeting up in one place to do that activity so it's it's becoming better but it's still a great way to avoid the griefers that are there in the game i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to hit the like button and subscribe we very much appreciate it on this new and growing channel and until the next one catch you later